Very well done, Andrew. Very well done. <laughs> uh, speaking of very well done, let's hope Mike Yanni's test results this morning are going yeah. very well. Mike, have you learned anything about your heart yet? Uh, not yet. I'm about to though. So just to give you an idea of what happened, you guys. Okay, so they put the uh, the cuffs on my arms, and then they did some readings to see how things were, and then uh, they cut off the circulation completely, and my arm went numb and stayed like that for five minutes. So basically, very little blood uh, in my fingertips, and it went from what basically turned blue. And then they released it. All the blood went back into my hands, and I got the pins and needles again. All of that was monitored on the computer. So this is the results right here. This is the blood flow. Now, Diamond, kind of explain how I, I fared here, because you were giving some funny looks during the test. Well, we had a, a relaxation phase there, and then we, what happened was is that we then stopped the blood flow, and then you can see the big drop in your finger sensing there, and so that's where we stopped the blood flow, and then we had the pins and needles feeling when we released it. So we had a good rebound back to where you were there. So um, you fared pretty well. So you fought either in a red light, yellow light or green light. So you just fell right into the green light. So that's good. So just fell, just fell into the green light. Yes, that's correct. Okay, but that's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay, now that's the first test. The second test now is going to be some blood work. Uh, Deb, you're starting to uh, work on my arm here because... I'm going to get your hand prepped up for some blood work. Yes. We're going to take one tube of blood and this tube of blood is for the lipoprotein particle test. Okay. Now, Dan, do you want to talk about the lipo... I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> well, Deb, draws the blood? Absolutely. I, I think the best way to understand it is, is that, um, well, we have a little bucket here to explain it a little bit better, but over 50% of people with normal cholesterol end up with heart disease. So it, it's important. Well, why is that? And then most people who might be prescribed um, a cholesterol-lowering drug might have, they're told they have high cholesterol, yet they, not all bad cholesterol is bad, and not all good cholesterol is good. So the best way I can explain it is if your artery is protected by a tennis net, and you have tennis balls, and you have golf balls. And the golf balls are small, dangerous, they'll go through a tennis net. Golf balls are large and fluffy, they won't go through a tennis net and cause damage. So what Debbie's about to do is measure how many tennis balls you have versus golf balls. Golf balls are bad, they can cause damage, tennis balls are not. Okay. Yeah. Now I had to fast for this. Uh, I couldn't even drink coffee this morning, mm -hmm. which is a, a big deal for me. Dead laughs, yeah, very nice. Um, yeah, so why, why is that? So it, it's just to get a better accuracy as to the readings um, while we take the numbers there, so yeah. Yeah. So Deb is drawing the blood. We're not going to show it on TV because I don't think you, as you're eating your uh, cereal this morning, you need to see that. But uh, this is a good time to mention that I usually pass out when I get yeah. needles. Yeah. 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 Love needles. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes on this next test, you guys. Good luck. Well, luckily you got a map. So far, so good. In the green light zone. Yeah. Which is great. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Uh, so we come on the show, Judy Arnell.